Hi, I'm Paul, KB5MU, with Open Research Institute. We're putting together a second batch of the RF Bitbanger kits designed by Dr. Daniel Marks. It's going to be a 4TI. And here in these two big boxes, we have a lot of the essential parts. Let's have a little fun and, and unbox this stuff. I'm going to move the top box out of the way. Here we have the bottom box, overhead camera. Let's switch to that after I get the box open. packing list. Very important. Poorly printed. Okay, here's a bunch of stuff. Starting with packing material. Alright. This is a bag. Alright. Maybe I can just take all these bags out and we can dispense with this box. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe too many bags. Let's take this little by little. Let's start with this bag. This bag contains, what do you know, a bag. Anti-static bag containing header pins. It's good to know that the header pins have been static all along. This is a whole bunch of header pins. And that's all it is. I'm going to discard extra packing material because I don't need a box this big taking up room in my inventory. Here's another bag containing lots of little bags. All right, that's more like it. Let's set that aside for more fun later. Here's another bag. Well, that volunteered to come out. Lots of BNC connectors. Everything in here is about quantity 100. I ordered 105 of things I didn't have any of, so I'd have a few spares. And a few less than 100 of things I had a few in stock, so I'd end up with about 105. So I can build 100 boards and have a few spares. Another bag of bags. Wow, okay. This little guy here looks like it's resistors. Ah, very resistors, okay. We'll be going over this stuff one by one, don't worry. Because <laughs> I want to make sure it's all the right stuff. Tubes of relays, tubes of trim pots, and what is this? It's double, triple bagged. It's like another another kind of trim pots. And now we're we have an empty box. So let's get this box out of the way. All right, all kinds of stuff here. Let's open this bag. Transistors. Now these are header pins, so maybe I misidentified those other things. This is a PS2 keyboard connector. Let's try 
try this one. It's like Christmas. These are 10K pots, according to the label. Yeah. You can see that. Hmm. Trying to figure out what the best way to proceed with this is. Um, there are lots of parts here. We haven't even begun to open all these little bags. All right, I have my inventory sheet here. This is what I think ought to be in this package. Plus some other stuff. This is actually the uh, the kit inventory sheet that you can download from the Builder's Notes webpage. Um, it has a little picture of everything. This is the version that I'm updating from batch one to batch two. So it has all the old pictures. I need to compare each component as it, as it comes in and make sure, or find out whether or not it needs to be re-photographed re for this document. So, and I'll also check the, uh, the part number to make sure that it's properly documented. So here we have again the, uh, the PS2 keyboard connectors. That's on this sheet. It's eight pages of sheet here, so I'm gonna find the right sheet. Here we go. C77848, so yes, this is good. And it still looks the same. So I'll put a little check mark. That one is the same as it was before. So I'll put that down in the box to get it out of the way. Now check this out. I'm gonna open this up carefully. Look at all these transistors. Can you see it? Is it in focus? I hope it's in focus. These are going back in the bag as soon as I can figure out how. Okay, so these are the 2N7000 transistors. Here, the new part number matches, and the nomenclature on the device. This is not a perfect match. Okay, these will have to be rephotographed. I believe these might have to even have a little bit of extra text in the in the user manual because they're not the same shape. The leads expand a little bit coming out of the package. So that'll need some uh, updating. Okay, this package claims to be straight square pins. It's got a extra layer of bag on top of it for no good reason. And they're totally sealed up for also for no good reason. Let's unseal them. That almost worked. There we go. This very fancy bag has no reason for existing. So these are 429959 pins that matches. And so are these. And they look pretty much just like the old ones. So I'm going to check that off. Don't need to re-photograph that. Looks like they had one complete bag and gave me 10 more here to get to 110. Probably see that pattern a lot. Header pins, check. This bag 
Okay. Tubes of relays. And some extra plastic. Um, 105. So four two eight oh three same check. All right, there's a bunch of two K plug in straight line trim pots. Six. These look pretty much the same. I think we can call that good. And there's another bag in a bag. Maybe it contains another bag. Who knows? Does contain an extra rubber band. Right. Completely anonymous package. No obvious place to tear it off. The outer package says that these are more trim pots. They rattle like trim pines. Okay. Those strongly resemble the old ones. I do want to come back later and check the size. It looks like they might be a little smaller. And a loose stick of five to make up 105. Very good. What is this really? Okay, so these are these are the female header pins. I just why it's so confusing. Sharper knife. Okay. 
Okay. This is a bag of flat washers that goes with the, the pots. And this is the bag of mounting nuts that goes with the pots. And these are the pots. Okay. They look the same as before. Pot's not in this document. Still putting aside this bag of bags because there's just too much in there. And this is all the BNC connectors. We're gonna say these those look the same. Check. Part number two eight three seven five eight seven. Cool. bag of 10 microfarad 50 volt capacitors little electrolytics those look pretty much similar not identical all right we'll rephotograph this one surface mount capacitors for the filter boards. These are 100 puff. And there should be 450 of them. Stereo 8 inch phone jacks. Those look pretty much the same. Yeah. More capacitors. These are 150 puff. Five hundred and sixty puff. One point five nanofarads. Two hundred and forty seven puff. Puff is picofarads. 68 puff. One nanofarad. Four seventy. There's one loose one in there. That's 
funny. These are 680. Two point two nanofarads. Thirty three. Trying to figure out just the capacitor so I can get that whole page checked off. Three thirty. Seventy two twenty three ninety, and that's all the SMT capacitors. Good. Okay. Here's a, these are 100 micro Henry inductors. They do not look identical. So I'm going to photograph those again. Here's a whole mess of shunts, short circuiting pins, and they look like shunts. Not much to be said about that. Here's a mess of 1,000 microfarad capacitors. This time we managed to get ones that are short enough to fit on the board. And we had no photo of those last time because we replaced them at the last minute. But now we did, or now we will. Good, so that was going in the photographing pile. Here's a bunch of barrel jacks for power. Those look pretty much the same, I'd say. Here we have one in forty-seven forty-five Zener's diodes. in with the other semiconductors. These do not look the same. They'll have to be... Maybe they do look the same. Yeah, those are the same. Close enough. More capacitors. These are 22 microfarad electrolytics. Those look totally different, so we'll photograph them again. Here's the terminal block for power. They look the same. Push buttons, lots and lots. Of push buttons. They of course look the same. Okay, these are the other Zener diodes. 4757s. And they look the same. Okay, more electrolytic capacitors. These are 220. 220. They look the same. Even more electrolytic capacitors. These are 100. These are even the same color. We'll call that good. Seven, eight, nine, one. And more transistors. 
SS8550. Okay, these actually have the same kind of leads. So I'll just check that one off. And the last bag in the bag, in the box, is resistors. These are, doesn't even say. But I assume they're the right size resistors. Where's my old resistors? There they are. These do not look at all the same. So I better photograph these. That is everything. Let's see if we miss anything on the inventory sheet. These have all been checked off. Uh, these are coming from a different source. These have all been checked off. This comes from a different source. This does, this does. These do. So we have everything. As ordered. Right on. Okay, let's open that other box. This box is surprisingly heavy. Robust boxes contains <laughs> two boxes. Let's open this one that's all done up in. Pink anti static foam. What do you know? It's more bags. I don't want to take this whole brick apart, but I do want to open one of these up and take a look at what's inside. The assembled circuit boards. Nothing on the back. So I'm guessing there must be 10 in each one of these 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. These are the main circuit boards. Then this box must contain the filter boards.
lots of random bits of packing material. Lovely. Okay. These are uh, 25 packs. Each board contains 12 little filter boards. So there should be four of these packs. And sure enough, there is. Good. Okay. <laughs> We've torn it all up. I'm going to go through once more, carefully make sure all the part numbers match my list. And then we'll be ready to start kitting these up pretty soon. The RF Bitbanger kit is available from Open Research Institute. There was a Solstice Special sale, which is now closed. But there are more kits available from this batch that we're making here. And they'll be made available probably on eBay or someplace like that as soon as they're kitted up. And the ones from the Solstice Special have been mailed out. So watch the space. There'll be an announcement. Thanks for watching.